All elements are classified in accordance with their physical and chemical properties into metals, non-metals and metalloids. With the exception of hydrogen, all elements that form positive ions by losing electrons during chemical reactions are called metals. Let us see some physical properties of metals. First, state. Metals are solid at room temperature with the exception of mercury and gallium. Mercury and gallium are liquid state at room temperature. Second, luster. Metals are shiny. They have the quality of reflecting light from their surface if the surface is polished. The metallic luster goes on decreasing due to exposure to atmospheric oxygen and moisture. Example, gold, silver, copper. Third, malleability. Metals have the ability to withstand hammering and can be beaten into thin sheets or foil. Example, sheets of aluminium foils. Fourth, ductility. Metals can be drawn into thin wires, for example, copper wires, silver wires. Fifth, hardness. All metals are hard, except sodium, potassium, lithium from group 1, which can be cut with a knife. Sixth, valency. Metals typically have 1 to 3 valence electrons in their outermost shell of the atom. Seventh, conduction. Because of the free electrons present in the metals, Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Silver and copper are the best conductors of heat and electricity. Eighth, density. Metals have a high density and are very heavy. Melting and boiling points. Metals have high melting and high boiling points. For example, tungsten has the highest melting points, 34,220 degrees Celsius, whereas sodium, potassium, Mercury, gallium have low melting points. 10. Ability to resonate sound. Sound is produced when certain metals are stuck. This is called sonority. These metals are also known as sonorous metals. Physical properties of non-metals. Let us consider physical properties of non-metals. State. Some non-metals are in solid state and some are in gaseous state. The exception is bromine. Bromine is a non-metal which exists in a liquid state. Luster. Non-metals do not possess luster with the exception of iodine. Iodine crystals are shiny. Non-metals are brittle. They are not malleable or ductile. As non-metals are brittle, they are not hard, but diamond is the hardest natural substance. Diamond is an allotrope of the non-metal carbon element, which is the exception to this property. Non-metals have low melting and low boiling points than metals. Non-metals are bad conductors of electricity and heat, but graphite, which is an allotrope of carbon, is an exception, because graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Substances which are bad conductors of heat are usually bad conductors of electricity. But diamond is a bad conductor of electricity and a good conductor of heat. Third, chemical properties of metals. Metals are reactive. Metals lose electrons when they undergo chemical reactions. Therefore, metals are called electropositive elements. Let's perform this activity to experience the combustion of metals. Apparatus A pair of tongs and a burner. Take different samples of metals aluminium, copper, iron, lead, magnesium, zinc and sodium. Hold the sample of each metal at the top of the flame with the help of a pair of tongs. Sodium metal readily catches fire. The surface of a metal appears greyish black due to the formation of metal oxide. We observe the flame color for different metals. Aluminum has a silver white flame color. Copper has a bluish green. Magnesium white. Zinc blue green and sodium yellow. 